Hey guys, it's Christy and today I am going to let you know what books the book community made me buy. This will be the second installment. So these are books that I have bought but have yet to read. So I need to get on that. The first book is The Hazelwood and I basically bought that one because there is just a lot of hype surrounding it and I saw a lot of mixed reviews so I wanted to see what my personal thoughts were on it and I'll let you know when I actually get to it. The next book or books I should say are the Lux series by Jennifer L. Amitraut. I bought them a while ago because I just I heard so many people are saying like based on what they saw me reading that I would really enjoy the series. I haven't started it. Well, I started it. I think I read 50 pages of the first book and then put it down because I wasn't in the mood for it at the moment. So I really need to get moving on that one. The next book is And I Darken and that's by Kirsten White. Uh, there was, I believe, a lot of like drama surrounding this book or this author I can't really remember which and I kind of just like to read books that have drama based around them not gonna lie um yeah so that's pretty much why I picked that one up the next book is The Astonishing Color of After um I heard so many amazing things about this book. There has not been one person who I know that have, has read this book that did not absolutely love it. Some people have even said that it's one of their all-time favorite books now. So, of course, uh, I believe it was on a Kindle deal when I bought it. So, that was exciting. The next book is The Poet X. I have heard... A ton of great things about this book I believe it was my friend Cody who said I should absolutely get reading on this one so thanks Cody you're the reason I bought this one the next is the kiss of deception by Mary E Pearson I wanted to read this one for a while I got the push to actually buy it because my friend Jessica was doing a read-along like book club type thing and unfortunately at the time I didn't actually own the book I borrowed it from the library and well I was trying to borrow it from the library and the library copy didn't come in and yada 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 but everyone in that group who read it said they absolutely adored it and they loved pretty much the whole series or what they had read so far so I said yeah I need to buy it so I bought it and I have yet to read it so yeah, yet another one. <laughs> the next is a book that I think everybody has heard of. It is The Goldfinch by Jonna Tart. And I bought this one because clearly there's been a lot of hype surrounding it. And I found a gorgeous copy um, on the clearance rack at Barnes & Noble. So I got a beautiful hardcover copy for like $8. And I mean, how can you not... How can you pass that up? I personally couldn't. So I have that one sitting on my shelf as well. The next one is Nevernight. And I read Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. My books are right there. I read Illumini and I read Gemina. Yeah, I read the first two and I absolutely love them. They're like two of my favorite books of ever. I have Obsidio, which I haven't read yet. I was just talking to one of my friends about that. I really need to get on that. But when I found out that he had books out by himself, I was like, oh, I want to give this a try. And I found a signed first edition copy at my local Barnes & Noble, so I couldn't pass it up. And I still haven't read it. So gotta get on that one I have heard a lot about that series and how just unbelievably amazing it is so that's pretty high on my list I believe that is actually one of the books that I said I wanted to read in 2018 I may do like a video seeing what books I said I really wanted to read in 2018 and if I did it or not I know for a fact that I read at least one of them so that's a plus. <laughs> the next book is The Bone Season. I got this one on a Kindle deal. I heard a lot of great things about this series. Just 
in general book Twitter mostly. So I did want to give this one a try. I haven't yet, but I will. And the last one I'm going to tell you about is Renegades. I was really excited for this one and I actually... I don't remember if I pre-ordered it or bought it like the day it came out on Kindle because I really wanted to read it and I think I read about 20% of it and I just, not that I didn't like, not that I didn't like it because I really was loving what I was reading. I was just not in the mood for it. So I put way too much pressure on myself to try to read it the day it came out and I wasn't feeling it. So I put it down and I haven't picked it up yet. Uh, I have a friend, Sarah, who is obsessed with this series and she just keeps saying get on it get on it get on it you're gonna love it i know the second book um has either recently come out or is coming out very soon arch nemesis i believe is the name of it and i do want to read that so you know what i think i might read renegades on i have like a vacation coming up and i want a book that's really going to immerse me on the plane because i don't like flying and we're flying to texas so that is um a pretty long flight i believe like five four or five hours maybe i don't even know but maybe i'll give this one a go on the plane ride there because that will make the time go by quicker but yes guys those are the next 10 books that booktube or the book community made me buy hashtag peer pressure hashtag I don't hate it <laughs> oh I'm such a goof that's okay all right guys I will see you soon see ya